Hello, my I am Dinshun, and it's my student. Uh, uh, I I counted before, and maybe it's uh, about thirty students here. And it's time. It's okay. It's it's ten a.m. <laughs> <laughs> no, here and in Taiwan, uh, we are very excited to have. <laughs> This opportunity to meet you and ask a question. Uh, maybe they can. Uh, uh, maybe you can introduce yourself, and uh, I will let the student uh, to ask the questions. Okay. Okay. <laughs> My name is Randy Brennan. I'm a teacher in Hawaii, and I have the chance to sail on board the Atlantis with a whole, whole group of educators and scientists, and I'm excited too. So um, I do want to show you that yes, we're on a ship, so I want to take you out the door. You'll just follow me. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I see. Okay, we can see the sea. Hello. Those are some of our scientists outside. <laughs> um, now I want to introduce you to Tina. Okay, Tina. Come this way. Tina is my teacher. 我昨天上次他们在海上，他们是用卫星，但声音还可以，就是影像会有点那个。Hello Tina。Hi。还有我们我们今天有有二十九个学生在这边。好，没关系。<笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑> I'm happy that you guys can join us. It's ship to shore, and then the international like broadcast with Taiwan. And uh, um, you guys don't be shy. Ask questions, and I uh, get you my advisor, Jim Taiwan, and we will have a uh, Elvin, Pilot, Corey here, and then you guys just ask them questions. Whatever questions you come up with. 好，就尽量问问题，不用太羞 ，OK？OK，、okay? okay, 那我们就给学生。Okay, so, so, 第一组先上来吧。You'll stay and Corey, will you come on in? Thank you. So this is Corey, and he works with Jason and with with Jason, yeah? Jason and Alvin. Yeah. So and he's happy to answer any questions you guys have for him. Okay. Um, so may I start to ask? Sure. Okay, um, yeah. then, how did Jason find Tectonic? Because I know the ocean is very big and Tectonic is so small comparing to the ocean. And so how did Jason make sure where Tectonic located? How, how did... Uh, Tectonic located. Because I'm sure that Jason right. find. Um. <laughs> um. Uh, I I I apologize. I, I honestly don't know the answer to that question. Okay. Um. I I haven't. Uh, yeah. I you so you weren't on board the ship was that was looking ship. for yeah. Titanic. What's oh. one of the uh, more exciting things you did with Jason? Um, actually, uh, probably the coolest thing I did so far, uh, my first Jason trip was uh, off of Guam. Uh, we went to a place called NW Rota uh, 2, I believe. It was uh, an underwater volcano that was actually pretty exciting. Uh, we parked Jason about five, uh, maybe five meters uh, right in front of the summit, uh, and we got to watch the, uh, we got to watch the, the basically the smoke, which was the, the sulfur clouds coming out 
and you could watch, it would just start to bubble up out of the rocks, and uh, uh, you'd know that's right when about you were going to get some action. And then at some point, uh, when the bubbles got even more and more uh, uh, larger, uh, it would basically start to rumble. And then at one point, it would just kind of come up and bang back. And uh, there was one point that the pilot that I was sitting watch with decided that it got a little too bad. So we, we drove up and backed up, and the whole thing just kind of crumbled in on itself. It was pretty amazing. Um, we didn't get to see... Yeah, we didn't get, get to see any uh, explosions and fire underwater like the, the year before that, but uh, I have seen video. It's pretty awesome. Thanks. Do you have another question for Corey? Yeah, the other student will answer, uh, will ask it. Hello. Um, Hello. <laughs> among all the studies you have done, which one you think is a big achievement? So your biggest achievement connected with Jason, yeah? Um, actually, uh, so far, uh, I haven't gotten my biggest achievement yet. Uh, uh, I just started out, um, when I first started working with Alvin, which was about three and a half years ago, I started it out in the pilot's program, uh, and uh, I was basically supposed to be a pilot, supposed to, you know, work to becoming a pilot within, a, within about two years. Unfortunately, that didn't work out. Uh, I'm now working with the Jason group, and uh, now that I'm working with them, uh, hopefully over the next four or five cruises this summer, uh, I'm training to become a pilot of Jason and uh, there doesn't seem to be much in the way of me accomplishing that, so I should be a pilot by the end of this summer. Wonderful. Wonderful. Do we have any more questions for Corey? Mm. How do you feel when you found new species? How does it feel when you find a new species? Or okay. something you've never seen before? That's a pretty fantastic question, actually. Um, over the course of uh, my years out here, uh, I've gone on about eight Alvin dives myself uh, as a pilot in training and as a co-pilot. And uh, on let's see, probably my third dive uh, out in this same area, we were we were searching for uh, one one of the uh, scientists that I dove with was uh, she's an astrobiologist, uh, and that basically means that she studies uh, studies for life on other planets. And the bottom of the ocean is, is probably the closest thing to life on other planets that you can get to. Uh, and while we were out there, uh, we were picking up samples of uh, clams and of mussels. And uh, she basically, it was probably, like I said, it was a very early dive, so I wasn't very good with the manipulator. But uh, she wanted a single clam off the bottom of the ocean. And it was kind of just a grab whatever, but she, she said, okay, I want that clam right there. It has, you know, micro, uh, you know, microbiology on top of it, and so she's like, all right, I want that. And I mean, the gripper is it's a huge titanium claw, so you, you go down and you can't really grab a clam like you would with your fingers very lightly. So if you, so basically, I went down and hoping that I wouldn't crush one like the one I did before that. <laughs> so luckily, I grabbed it just lightly enough, picked it up, and dropped it into the basket. They brought it back up, and it turned out that it was a brand new species of mussel wow. that had never ever been seen before. So uh, the next year she came out, um, she helps me discover another species of clam. So, so two under my belt. That's fabulous. Yeah. Cool. Well, I actually have a watch coming up soon. I'm going to be working from eight until twelve, uh, navigating the uh, uh, ship into position so that they can. Uh, do more work on the bottom of the ocean. So, thank you very much, guys. It's good to see you. Thank you, Corey. Thanks. Sorry. Tina, will you come back and introduce Jim? Oh, okay. Let's